Astro Museum Two of Fine Art. The University of California Museum of Paleontology has over 2.5 million paleospecimens, more than any other university in the world. We are dedicated to studying and sharing the history and diversity of life on Earth through research and education. The museum is open to the public just one day a year, Cal Day. Cal Day is Berkeley's annual open house, with talks and activities for the public all over campus. This year was a busy one for us at the UCMP. We gave presentations throughout the day and had exhibits throughout the building. We'll start in the courtyard. All the Berkeley Natural History Museums work together to create an exhibit about Charles Darwin to celebrate his 200th birthday. From 1831 to 1836, Darwin traveled around the world on a ship called the Beagle. So you're starting out, as you move around these tables, you're looking at different places that Charles Darwin went and a collection of the specimens, insects, plants, vertebrates and vertebrates, um, specimens that he saw while he was there that helped inform his ideas of evolution by natural selection. So for example, right here we're in the Cape Verde Islands off of Africa, and then moving to our right is, or my right, is Brazil, and some of the specimens he saw there. So as you travel around the tables, you're traveling around the world in Darwin's footsteps, so to speak. Throughout his trip, Darwin kept a detailed journal he made several important observations about coral reefs. But what exactly is a coral? So I have a question for you. Is a coral an animal, a plant, or a rock? Not a plant. It's an animal. It is. It's an animal. And now look at this coral skeleton here. Do you see all those little holes? Inside of each one of those holes when this coral was alive, had one of those little polyps, one of those little anemone-looking little critters inside each one of those holes. So a coral is actually made up of thousands of little polyps. So a coral is an animal or a plant? Yes! On Cal Day, we also hosted the Biodiversity Roadshow. If you think you found a fossil, bring it in. The museum's paleontologists will help you figure out what it is. And if you don't have fossils of your own, you can check out some of ours. See if you can identify this one. It's a sloth, very good. So this is a sloth, and they're pretty small, and they live in trees in the rainforest. And what do you think? What does this look like? Looks like a T-Rex hand. It's a hand. It's not a hand of a T-Rex. It's actually a hand of a giant sloth that lived here in California up until about 10,000 years ago. So this is real? It's real. And this is the jaw and teeth of the giant sloth. And this is fur they found of a giant sloth that's been preserved. And do you know what this, what does this look like? So this is giant sloth poop. <laughs> That's what I thought, I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> and they found that, and you can look at that and figure out what they were eating. And people actually go through and figure out like exactly what species of plants are in the poop, and so they can figure out not only what they ate, but what types of plants were living in the area 10 or 15,000 years ago. Oh, that's pretty cool. For many visitors, the highlight of Cal Day is the behind-the-scenes tour of our museum. Our collections aren't really set up for public viewing. Most of our fossils are stored in giant cabinets. But we take out a selection of fossils for our Cal Day tours. We'll show you fossils that were collected right here in California. Tours are led by the museum scientists, and each tour is different. Each scientist focuses on their favorite fossils. Over the next few months, we'll show you more from the collections at the UC Museum of Paleontology. Thanks for joining us for Cal Day. And while you can't take home any fossil souvenirs, you can take home a UCMP t-shirt. Hope to see you next year. From the University of California Museum of Paleontology, this is Jennifer Skeen.